What is up subs? Reese back with another fishing video for Xander Fishing and today me and my buddy Ethan we got some waders on and we are down here at the Illinois River. We are <laughs> we are down here at the Illinois River and we are going to try to catch some smallmouth on this really overcast day. We are not sure how it's going to go. The, honestly dude the levels look kind of high. Like the water looks like yeah. it's kind of came up a little bit. Out. I don't know how these smallmouth are going to be feeling. I am not a great smallmouth angler, especially when it comes to these river smallmouth. And we are right in kind of like mid-fall, late fall. Leaves are gone, brush is dying. It is an overcast day. It's probably like low 50s today. The water's gonna be fairly cold, but these smallmouth, they're gonna be used to that cold water. I'm hoping we can get on them. We got a lot of baits. Ethan's gonna actually be fly fishing. Kinda have trouble over there, buddy. Hopefully today is gonna be a great day. I'm really excited to be out here. Let's get after it. All right, so Illinois River day trip with my buddy Ethan for some late fall smallmouth is a go. I was gonna start off with a crankbait. I tossed around for a second, but I figured I just had to switch over to the spook just to get out of the way, see if anything can happen. Cause um, there's really nothing more I would love than a smallmouth to come up and kind of crunch this uh, striking sexy dog junior. All right, let's find deeper water. We're gonna move down a little bit, fish a bridge area, probably switch over to a jig or a plastic. And then later in the afternoon, run up to some really shallow water. It's about 2.30 right now, three o'clock-ish. We got out here with some decent time. We just need to catch at least a good amount of fish. That's what I want. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of nice. If we don't catch them out of this bridge, I really don't know. I don't know where they're gonna be, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the deep water we need. One thing about wade fishing, Ethan, definitely takes a lot of effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's time consuming. So presentation number two, little finesse jig with a really small little paddle tail on there to kind of imitate anything from a crawfish all the way to a little goby. We're just gonna fish this guy around this deep water, kind of swim him along, a little swim jig. There's gotta be some little small mouth over on this wood. What's really nice, since it's late fall and it's getting kind of cold, this river is absolutely dead. There's nobody here today, huh? And usually, at least in the summertime, this place is just packed with people floating. There's gotta be some kind of fish on this brush. Oh, Ethan, what is this? Oh, Ethan, good smallie off the tree, baby. Oh, that's a giant for this little river. Number one. That's the best smallmouth I've caught out of this river. Ethan, look at the lay down he came off of. Let's go, let's go, buddy. Yeah, I got the scale. Let's see that. Right in the top of the jaw. That's the biggest smallmouth we've caught out of here, man. I mean, he's not giant, but I mean that's, that's definitely probably my personal best smallmouth. This could be my PB smallmouth. 1.98. So, two pound smallmouth from the Illinois River. Ethan, can you tell the camera what happened, buddy? <laughs> I accidentally let the fish go. <laughs> The hour drive out here, not too bad. We were gonna try to get some underwater footage, but uh, but, but something happened, it's okay. Something, little, something went wrong. We're gonna go back to this lay down, fish the little swim jig around. So it's about an hour into fishing. Caught one good smallmouth, actually. Probably my best smallmouth I've ever caught, which is pretty sweet. 
on this little bitty finesse swim jig. But we stayed there for a while, it's been about an hour and no luck, it's been pretty slow. So me and Ethan are gonna move back up river, fish some of our juicy little spots we know that have fish pretty much all the time. And then maybe hit some deep water. I'm pretty exhausted. We've been walking quite a while. Ethan, how you feeling? Hopefully some more smallmouth are on the way soon. We got a little bit of walking to do, but stay tuned you guys. We're gonna try to catch a couple more and wrap today up. Well, we walked a little bit upstream and we made it to another deep pool. This is where we started off before. Hopefully we can kind of clean up shop up here. It's been slow. All right, it's later in the afternoon. Still got the swim jig and we moved to some of our honey holes, which is just this little back current break along the main channel that typically holds quite a few little smallmouth. Maybe they're not in our honey holes today. We are having trouble finding them. Maybe this little pool will be pretty productive. Hopeful. chasing it. Oh, I missed one. There's some smallies over here, baby. That's the second one I've had follow it up out of the current. They're here, Ethan. For the last little 30 minutes, we might be able to catch just a couple more. I can't believe I missed those couple. Hey! There's a follower? Hey, you still got him, though. So me and Ethan have been waiting up the Illinois River for quite some time. Only had that one under the bridge and then Ethan just picked up his first smallmouth of the night. Yeah, we've seen a couple fish. I've had a couple followers. It is definitely a lot later in the day. We do not have much daylight. But honestly, dude, if we can get on a couple more smallmouth, I would be I more than happy. More, I'd be, it'd be worth the while. I'd be happy. We're trying to work our way up to this other deep bluff wall just because we haven't walked this far yet before. Yeah, this is definitely the deep water we need. <laughs> There's number two. Well, there's number two. Me and Ethan have just okay, been. Let me get this photo before I drop <laughs> Before you drop him in. Me and Ethan have just been traveling all over. And as soon as we make our way up to this deep bluff wall, the last one I caught too that was this size had some white marks right on the gill plate. All right, so second smallmouth of the day. We've definitely been catching the decent ones today. Gosh, he is gorgeous, man. That's a good catch for you. Let's go. He's got a belly on him too, eh? Yeah, they're eating up. Look at that smallmouth belly. <laughs> I love the bronze fish, man. These guys are just crazy. Ethan, there's more in there, dude. That was first drop in that break. Oh, Ethan. Ethan, that feels super good. Oh, Ethan, that's a big one. Ethan. Oh, Ethan, that's a good one. I gotta keep him away from the tree. I gotta keep him out of the tree. Oh, oh he's around my leg. Yes. Yes. Woo. There we go. That's my personal best smallie. The other way. That's probably a three pound smallmouth, Ethan. What a beautiful fish, Ethan, I'm shaking. You get him back in there, I'm gonna get in there so I can try to get one of them. Wow, I did not know there were fish of this caliber in this river. What a stunning fish, man. He fought so hard. That's easy three. Easy three, no doubt. 2.94. We're gonna get this big guy back in the water. He's got a nasty knot on his head. One more look at that beautiful fish. <laughs> Never have I ever caught a fish. 
fish as hard as that smile. Is that harder, buddy? Real, 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 real. Hey, Ethan's got another one. Keep that rod tip up. Keep it up, because he'll, he'll swim faster than you think. There you go, buddy. Smaller one. Catching them on craw baits. That's two for Ethan. Three for me. This was definitely the best day of smallmouth fishing I have ever had. Caught my personal best smallmouth, just shy of three pounds. I know that's not a giant, but for here in Oklahoma, that's a big smallmouth, and especially for it to come out of the Illinois River, which is really known for partying slash floating. It's really just a popular public river that a lot of college people go to. I fished here before. We've always known there's smallmouth in there, but it's more of a numbers place, not really size. And the one time we go down there on an overcast day, make the assumption that maybe these bigger smallmouth that could be in this river might move up shallow, feel a little bit more protected in that clear water when there's really heavy cloud cover in the sky and no people on the river since it was so cold. Ended up working out really well. I had a blast filming this video. It was such a stellar day. I want to say thanks to Ethan for taking some photos of me with the fish and getting me out there. Ethan drove. So I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the little finesse jig we were catching them on. The finesse jig is all sorts of beat up. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel already, there will be tons of fishing content coming your way very soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all again so much. And as always, I want one of you guys to get out there, enjoy nature, and catch some smallmouth. And I'll see you guys in the next video.